Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the HROM Note 20 port for our Galaxy J716 and this is the third treble port after the HROM S20 and the HROM A7 port. So without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, this is the third HROM port after the S20 and the A7, both were treble and this one is 2 and here we go with the one UI version it comes with 2.5, Android version 10, it comes with a simple kernel pre-built, then we have the permissive cell Linux and Android security patch is August 1, 2020, which is the latest as of now. Now guys, the One UI 2.5 is not a major update to the One UI 2.1, like uh, uh, just a few stuff uh, here and there, some fixes from the One UI 2.1, and the 2.5 has uh, the uh, third party support for full screen gestures to the other apps too. So that's really nice, but that's mostly for the S20 and the Note 20, and maybe if uh, the S10 and the Note 10 will get the update, uh, I don't know if they will, but yeah, if they get that 2.5 update, they will get that features too. Oh, and yep, that is it. Uh, not much of the feature changes been thing. You can see the settings UI and all that is same. Uh, also, uh, yeah, the app draw, you can see these are the default installed apps. I have not installed any extra apps. These are default apps. The ROM is pretty stable. If, uh, you know, after some reboot, uh, there are some, you know, some minor issues after reboot, the ROM uh, becomes a little bit laggy for like first two to three minutes, but then it is okay. As you can see, I'm running it fine now. A lot of things are working, a lot of things are not working. All the normal things will be uh, mentioned in the description. So yeah, I don't have that proper list, so I will just put it down in the description. But most of the things, the basic things are totally working fine. I guess uh, Bluetooth audio is working and Bluetooth call audio, which, you know, uh, via the microphone is not working but bluetooth audio like while listening to the songs it's working fine so that is it and also uh, people were asking about the note uh, sorry s20 and a7 port i got some comments about VOLT is not working or not now let me tell you guys VOLT and vo wi-fi which is the wi-fi voice over wi-fi is working like both are working fine as you can see i have a geo sim card and you will get these two options. So if you have them disabled by default, just check it. Now Wi-Fi calling was disabled by default in the ROM and Volte was already available. So as soon as I put the SIM card, like the ROM booted, the VLT uh, sign was there and also I can make calls. So that's really nice. VLT, Wi-Fi both working. So that is like amazing. And all of your doubts are now solved. Like both, uh, almost, you know, the S20, the uh, a7 and this one is based on the same vendors so yeah everything will be same so there are no issues about VLT or over wi-fi that's amazing now there are no major things that i likely will be showing you just to increase the video length so let's finally move to the installation and it's a bit uh, you know complicated so just don't go blindly do the installation please check a look because the note 20 port the zip file is higher and you need to repartition the system size so yeah you have to check it how and let's do it now let's put into the custom recovery now guys i'm using the orange fox recovery r10.1-2 and it's an unofficial build and the r11 official is also available so you can flash that but i haven't updated it, so being lazy but r11 should like probably work because it's the latest and it supports treble and all that stuff so yeah it's uh, like not mandatory to use that but yeah you can use this one too if you're on old just no, I don't worry. Now, the simple uh, flashing process like always for the project treble. First, you have to wipe your data, uh, wipe your older ROM. Now, you know the vendor and things are not necessary to wipe because it's same for the devices. But, you know, if you are flashing a zip, you know, a separate zip, it's not a GSI, it's a like combined zip. You have to clean it just in case. Now, the first thing you have to do is to create vendor. Now, if you are Coming from a non treble ROM, you have to do this. Uh, I'm using the Create Vendor version 2, which is used for the Spaghet X vendor, which is the latest version. And if you're coming from uh, older versions of the Spaghet, or if you're already using GSI and or like you're using other trebles, uh, which are also the Project Treble U and that uh, Project Spaghet X, which is the base. So if you are using that, you just you have to create a vendor, uh, sorry, revert the vendor zip which are into their description, uh, the XTA thread always. So yeah, just go through them and revert the vendor. And you have to flash this create vendor version too. Or if you're using the project Spaghet X, then there are no worries. And if you are getting confused, please check the description. I have all mentioned links, proper uh, uh, instructions, so you can easily understand. And they are in English, so yeah. 
and yeah you have to flash this now i already have the create vendor zip so it is saying you know nothing to patch now you will get it is uh, you know the vendor is patched and it's created now after you flash it for the first time you have to reboot into recovery actually there is no need for me to reboot but still you know it's easy to show it back in orange fox recovery now you have to flash the rom now the vendor uh vendor is created now it, to flash the rom but before flashing the rom like the rom size is 2.15 uh, gb and it exceeds our system partition so you have to flash the repartitioner now the default repartitioner gets it to the 4 gb and also increases some i guess cache value or something like that which is required for uh, the rom so yeah you have to just flash this uh, this is a repartitioner and before flashing this you have to back up all of your internal storage and then please don't blame me you have the xda thread link you can go there it says the disclaimer use it at your own risk now there is no actual risk if you have the pit file saved i will also post the pit file which you can you know easily uh, flash through odin the pit file section and then you will get the default partition size of, of your json 2016 or the device the triple device 770 you have so no need to worry now you have to just flash the repartition zip and it will do the work just uh, wait for a few seconds or minutes and it will do the work and will just show it successful now it automatically boots back to recovery now i already have it flashed and i already have the same partition so it won't did anything like you know it did not do anything to wipe the internal storage now it will wipe your internal storage it did because the first time it changes the partition to 2gb to 4gb so it does and yeah now we have 4gb partition you can check it here uh, into uh, uh, where is that option manage partitions here you can check system I can see the size uh, 3967 uh, you can see the free size also so yeah we have a 4GB system partition now and also you can flash other GSS if you want to attach oxygen OS and other things so yeah other things other way uh, here we go and focus on this uh, flash the HROM node 20 port now you have to wipe that uh, uh, things again and no need to create vendor again because the partition is created it won't affect anything so let's skip this and it takes a bit of time so don't assume that your uh, device has been freeze and just remove the battery and post it comments below it is not working you have to wait for a few uh, seconds or minute like or uh, two minutes or something and yeah it will uh, end this process like successfully as you can see it detects the device and flashes the thing and yeah a uh, bit of a time taking but yeah it's worth it to flash the node 20 port and here we have the magisk debug which is the magisk scannery zip and only flash the magisk scannery for root so if you want you can flash it i will just straight away reboot system and yep uh, that's it uh, your device will boot in a minute or two you have to just wait it will obviously boot and i'll just show the samsung boot animation animation appears and here we have the samsung boot animation so yeah it just stays like this uh, like people you will feel like it is boot looping or something or stuck but don't worry it is not stuck just wait it will boot fine and then yeah you can just uh, set up and enjoy it and also after the first boot it will lag a little bit so to fix the lag like uh, reduce the lag you have to go back to recovery flash uh, sorry wipe the dialvik cache and cache and it should be fine afterwards but after every reboot it just lags a little bit for like 10 to 20 seconds just for that to just you know keep your device uh, away uh, sorry not away just keep your device uh, for idle 10 to 20 seconds and then you can use it fine so yeah all of the working and not working things will be mentioned in the description so please go to the description for all download links proper instructions uh and yeah other info too so yep that is it i hope you guys like this video and if you have liked it press the like button if not press the dislike button that would be great feedback for me also the comments will be in the comment section and all you need uh, the help will be provided so please yeah it, it may take some hours or days but yeah still it will be provided so bye bye i will see you guys in the next video and please guys take care and please wear a mask it is really like compulsory i don't know why people is ignoring and just you know keeping up with the mask some smartest people but please if you want to uh, live you have to with the mask so please guys uh, stay safe and take care bye bye